Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, it's, it's, um, it kind of maybe this is a good opportunity to ask them what they think. <laughs> you know, if we dare ask you normally. Um, but I, I wanted to ask, because I was talking to some people in the break, and they had such, you know, beautiful things to say about music and about their, you know, some of them play things but are not professional. Some of them are saying a reaction to, you know, what's going on on the platform here and other concerts that they've been to. And, you know, having just listened to Mendelssohn Trio and now listening to Alan Garcello Concerto with the orchestra, <laughs> you know, I said at the beginning, you know, it's such a familiar piece, but it's such an incredible different language, isn't it? It's a whole, another world. We've stepped into another world. And I think what I find so beautiful about listening to you play and just, it's just reminding me so much that we are, you know, Elgar's world is something that he's allowed us into and it is so different. You know, well, I can say a few things that I, I feel when I listen and, you know, it just comes out of the moment. But, you know, Yes, I think the walking is, I feel, is very much... But, you know, this story, this, if you can say there's a story about this concerto, I think it's this... He wrote it, you know, towards the end of his life, and I see, I feel it as a kind of autobiography. It's, it's like, the beginning is, I'm an old man, but this is how the story began, you know, you know, with all his strength. And then he kind of goes through this moment of saying, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, let me just think about this. And I, I really just want to take you back to something that was really inside me. And then this starts this, which is somehow now the beginning of the story for me. From there on, he's walking us through his life experiences. And they're becoming sometimes dramatic, but certainly he's looking back on them with enormous you know, depth of, you know, with, with wisdom maybe and with an understanding of um, how profound life is. And I think we all feel that in this music. We all the sense of how profound it is. It's not frivolous. It's not Elgar trying to show off. It's not, he's not trying to make an impression. This is really deeply profound storytelling in a way. He was very unsure of himself, and the people were always trying to encourage him. Even this kind of... Um ...has a kind of, yes, it's OK, and then I, I feel I can go forwards, and then a moment where he isn't so sure, exactly that, he's not so sure. And I think that's all so, that tenderness and that vulnerability is, is just incredible in the music. And it's, it's not a lie, it's not a simple line. Mm. It's, it's, it's again going back to this idea of a wave, it's something that's just, it's so human, isn't it? It's utterly human, this thing. Sorry, will you come face me a little bit because I it's a bit, we're a bit at, yeah, that's it. Sorry about orchestra, you know. <laughs> we're always with our back to the orchestra anyway, so, especially the conductor, you know. No. So, um, yeah, I think that we need to find that flow. And I feel this, the, the sense of time, this is what I wanted to talk about listening to you. You know, how time flows through the music, you know. <laughs> It's kind of on the ground, but still there's a, there's a direction that is so important. And he writes the third chord as the strongest chord. So even though the orchestra comes in, beginning, and you think that's the beginning, but it's, it's, it's very good. <laughs> it's not the beginning, it's only going forward still. the interesting chords and, and rhythmically be very strong because you know 
if you're a little bit weak, like this, if you're a little bit like that, then we lose the sense of, you know, this is the beginning of something very powerful, and the power is in the control, and, and Elgar wrote every tiny detail of what he wanted. I mean, sometimes it's almost overwritten. That means to say that he didn't leave anything. It was as though he was writing, all of his music's like that, it's as though he's writing for amateurs who don't yet have all the experience and knowledge, and he's not taking any chances. So one note will have a line this way, another one will have a line that way, and this one will have a um, tenuto on this note. He just he wanted to make sure that the musicians would really express everything he wants. So we have to be incredibly careful not to bend where he doesn't ask you to bend. So... Um, <laughs> It's a kind of, you know, I mean, he was an Englishman after all. Yeah. Do you want to try? Okay, so um, can you play with me from here? You know, it's like the suspense is only relieved by the orchestra. That's your launch to go on. the vulnerability. Just a minute. What's the question? In the air. So think about taking us into the air. That question. You know, we're joined this mystery now. I don't think you should accent really because you're... And right to the his chord, because that's yam p off there, like the beginning. Can you go from the beginning one more time? Sorry, Callie, be careful. You're still running a little bit suddenly. Good. You know, that was much better this time. And, you, and one of the reasons is much better, not just because you played it already, because it always gets easier, doesn't it? The reason is because you set yourself up. Mm. You know, if you have something that's really enormous, then you have to respond to it in that way afterwards. So if we don't have enough, the response is going to be less interesting. 
It was so much more interesting this time. You asked that question because of the question you did before, yes? So you leave yourself in the air again. And this, to me, that, that passage, which you did really nicely, I think it's like coming from the present and going back to the past. Because now you're introducing. Can you carry on now, just from this? You know, what's interesting, sorry to interrupt. You know, what's also interesting, this is, as you'll know, you know, this is violas playing. Well, they have that kind of, they're playing higher, but they have that kind of underlying darkness to the sound. Could have given it to the violins and it would have been like smiling. But it's given it to the violas because it, it has that soulfulness. And you're not allowed to joke now, we're not allowed to joke. No, it has that soulfulness. And then eventually it gets to the cellos, rightly so. No, no, because it has to go down a bit. It has to get below that point. But let's be sensible now, okay? walking cellos sorry can I interrupt you know what you know, the technical thing, you know, if you change bow there, then you're giving, you're creating an upbeat, which you didn't write. It's not written that way, it's... Um, there's, there's a feeling that somehow you push forwards by changing a bit early. I would just be, you know, we're, there's, he goes forwards and back, and forwards and back, but of course, but don't come in too early for that. Beautiful the way you started it. Um. There's a little crescendo feeling towards the end, so that you can introduce the orchestra. Mm. Um. You know, even, even from a practical point of view, uh, you, the orchestra is so much bigger. But also, you know, when you go low in the instrument, there's that depth. Even when you're playing soft, we need to feel the floor moving a little bit. Mm. If you bring, there's not enough. <sighs> it's a, you know, we, if you think about where we've come from, it feels so high. It feels like you're really dragging on the ground. I mean, we, that's already showing us how Elgar, his landscape is so enormous. From so high to so low in a relatively short time, it's giving us this space to work in. Um, can you go from, from this place? Tenuto in the middle of the line, which is 
That's so unexpected. The line's going... <laughs> this is going on. But he writes him... Oh. You know, another genius. It just, there's just that... <gasps> This is not just a simple line, is it? And then... <laughs> the, the, the rhythm is, is suddenly shocking, isn't it? It's not... Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pulling our guts. He's really tearing at the heartstrings just by that one little thing. Tiny details that have such an impact on us. Can you go from... Yeah. Use, use, use this area. Mm. It doesn't have to be nice, you know. Definitely, it doesn't matter. And we're just experimenting now. But we have to produce something that is... <gasps> and which is not nice, actually. go back to what I was talking about originally, which is, you know, this question of we're in a different world, time world and the how time moves. It's all a long walk. We're, not, we're not just walking in moments and seeing something. We're into the long plan. And of course things happen on the way. Um, well, we're going... that is coming this way. It's all a long journey. It's so much more powerful than just a little thing happening here and there. Same place. Sometimes the obvious thing, the obvious thing is the last thing you want to do. Because um, that's the obvious thing is to take time. And the trouble with that is it's just so predictable that we lose the tension. We say, oh yeah. But if the tension is there so that, you know, it's... it's uh, you know, just powering on is actually much more dramatic than kind of taking the time to say it because in the gesture of taking more time you let us off the hook and you know what he doesn't ask anything does he there's nothing in the score to say take your time remember that little tenuto on that one note so how easy is it for him to say one more tenuto one little ralentando one or something no he doesn't say it so you don't do it but there's a reason, because the music is much more powerful if you just don't do the obvious thing and, and bend it in, in kind of so-called traditional ways, yes. Do you mind doing the one, same place one more time? Okay, you arrive here. Nothing's happening. You know, we're all terribly used to the fact that it's loud now. Within, you know, two seconds, it's not loud anymore. It's just what you're playing. So we have to move 
somewhere to give the impression that, in any case, where are you going? Where are you going? You're going there, aren't you? It's a long-term plan. But, you know, now that we got there, we think about where did it start? It started to... Um, that's where it started, isn't it? So we're, we're in this... That's why the music is so amazing, because we're in a different kind of time world. That's not about, you know, here's four bars, here's four bars, you know. It's not classical in that way. It's, it's just going on and on and on. And it draws us and draws us and draws us. Where should we go from? Do you want the same place? Yeah, I do, I do. I want the same place. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I, I, I'm a mm. Oh, it's still darker, isn't it? The detail on the way, but the notes. Just tiny ch color changes, movement of the energy. Good, good, good. But, you know, a few things. Go in the microphrases, go somewhere, yes. Because they have the tune. And if you play the whole melody in the orchestra just had to put the brakes on. So the melody is going. You have to play, unfortunately, you can't just stop, yeah. You know, we have to be like magicians. We have to produce more, and then suddenly we have to produce more again. And then, again more. And we're busy pouring our hearts out, pulling every last thing out of the instrument. It's only a box, and it will only do a certain few things. We have to play lots of tricks, just like the mag magicians. We have to duck and dive and come down, soften up, and get a bit more, and go again, and go again, and so everybody thinks that we've now increased the volume by three times, but actually we haven't. It's only by, you know, 2% difference. But they think it's enormous. Because of the tension, because of the excitement, because of the way you've moved, it's an illusion. Because, because you need to be strong to start with. So from there upwards, is that we have a certain amount of space. Okay, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, sorry, I'm here to express my opinion on time. You're slowing down to the point where the orchestra's feeling da da di di da 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 That could be the end. But they're just carrying on. They need to carry on. You know, so I think... Um, <laughs> No, the best bits are yet to come. One more time. Mm. 
Keep going. Beautiful, really. I think you can be sentimental in a way and also a little bit more. Da dum body. A little bit more skipping because the orchestra, you know, it's a whole orchestra and he still managed to make the whole orchestra skip. So you, I think you need to push that a little bit more. If you're too. Um, a little bit like this, then it's underplayed. Can you just do from there? One more time, yeah. Sorry, I didn't give you much lead in, did I? Yeah. Have you played? Yep. Sorry, go on. Do you want to go from before? We know this. Two, two bars before. So what we know, we are, we are you need to be nearer the bridge because we just need clarity. We need a sound that rings. Not that it's beautifully, beautifully soft. It will be as well because, you know, you will play beautifully. That's not in question. The question is whether the sound... How's them? Rather than... That's very nice, but we've done that. We did it here. This is more. da dum pari has to have that. Brilliance. In, in the context of softness, yeah? It just needs to be nearer the bridge, that's all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, you know, we have to be careful about the time, the walking thing, because there's a lot of repeated m phrases and lines that he uses the same rhythm. Of course, da -de -da -da -de -da, it's repeating. But, um, there's more suspense and more push. That's movement which flows and drops and comes. It's more interesting than just da 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 da. Uh, can you just go directly from. Thank you. 
Okay, good. It's a very, very small detail, but it's how we breathe, how we move. I, I don't feel that something really changes. There's a moment, a golden moment, isn't there? Wait a bit. It's, it's breathing inside yourself. It's leaving us one moment, turning and continuing. And that turn is somehow inside you, but not just a new bow. That's not enough. It has to feel like something's happened, resolu resolution, but now, oh. There's hope after all. You know, it came down, we lost the hope in a way, or lost something, the confidence. And just there's something in his brain says, no, it's all right. And we have to feel that. He's written that somehow in that twist of a moment. Maybe you learned that from Mozart or something, you know, who can turn your insights out and the change of one note to another. You know how you can listen to Mozart? You can hear two notes of Mozart, and you know it's Mozart, just by the change from one note to the next. Now, it's the same notes everybody else wrote, <laughs> but when Mozart does it, oh, it kills you. It absolutely kills you. Well, Algar was pretty damn good at it as well. So somewhere, that has to something has to change in what you feel or the way you think or, you know, the way you feel, that'll lead you. Can you go from... Right. Good. again a little bit yeah. yes it's skipping because his heart's lighter yeah da -da oh. emotions are not He's, again, not so sure of himself. Yes, yes, no, maybe not. Seriously, though, it is. And of course, you know, it's, it's a creation, a work of art. So, you know, it, these ideas come from the seas of before. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's this pulling and pushing in that way that is innate in this movement and which will not be innate in the next movement. Mm. And that distinguishes this movement from anything else. Can you go... Um, oh. That was beautifully how you did that. at straws here but look the kind of sound you make is what's going to reflect everything um, not the volume the brilliance that the optimism in the sounds it's got a positive energy it's coming from the guts of the string and then here's Yes, just again that change of colour. It comes from inside. Make sure the instrument reflects that energy. Yeah. I 
think it's better to move but not to stop. If you stop it, we're back to reality. Nobody wants reality. That's been confirmed. Yeah? Just to stop is, a, is that. Surprise. Be more. Because we started here, now we have to be more. We're on another long, long journey of building up, yes? Okay, I wanted to stop anywhere, of course. <laughs> I want you to, I want you to make a sound that is tearing at our hearts more. It's beautiful the sound you make, but it has to be more than beautiful. It has to be something that just uh, takes us, and that requires a little bit more. You actively push in that direction. Um. Now then. Get to that point. Don't don't let the pressure off. But I'm, you know, I'm pushing. I'm pushing the instrument. I'm pushing myself. I'm pushing. I'm I'm, I'm looking for that tearing, that searing, searing resonance. Not just this or just beautiful. I'm looking for something that's much much more. Well, I, nobody said the word. I was waiting for you all to say tragic. <laughs> don't you think this is tragic music? It's tragic, and, and in that way that it's just kind of it's unbelievable tragedy. And yet somehow, you know, he, he continues. And it's, that is that pulling and pushing the tragedy and optimism and then the pulling back. It's just what we all feel every day, probably. <laughs> you know, but you must push for it. And there's only one opportunity to do it, and it's in this one piece, in this one moment. That is what it needs now. No other piece of music requires exactly this. It's unique. It, they all require their own things. But right now, there's, it's something you have to search for some tragedy in this power, in the pain in the music, the pain in the music. Don't, you know, and if you strive for it, and if you push for it, you also give us a sense that this you know, that this is a human struggle. If you're just comfortable, you don't necessarily give us the message that this is not comfortable music. Mm. And it's, of course it's all in the sound. It's not in what you do, but it's in the sound. I, I'm, that's what I would like, the next dimension of what you're doing. I'd like that. God, this is serious. In the sound, you know.
Okay, so do you agree? Do you like it? Well, it means they're getting the message. You know, and every single person will respond differently depending on what they had for breakfast or... <laughs> and, and so we can't accommodate them. We can only say, this is the message I would like you to receive now. Now. I'm not waiting. This is now what's happening. It's living the moment, living that absolute question of the sound. And the... Um... <laughs> don't worry, don't, you know... Things happen, you know, we're playing, look, ladies and gentlemen, we're just playing with a bit of string here. It's a few inches of string here. And yet you're getting Elgar, you're getting all sorts of things. And we have to play tightrope walking on this one little bit of string. You know, even tightrope walkers slip, and it's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> so it's not about whether you slip, it's about whether you get the... This... Um, go. Whatever happens, happens. Nobody's going to shoot you. But that, if you play... Um, I'm not saying that's what you did. But it's as though there was the leap to be made and you just said, not today, thank you. <laughs> now, you built us up that far. Just go for it. Just go for it. The worst can happen is you'll you'll come off the string and then you'll come back on the string and, you know, you'll get your balances right and all that. Okay, I have a one... I know it's a very, very silly detail, but, it's, you know, I'm, I do like details. Yeah. I just think that, you know, you've played all on one string. There's one voice. Just changes for no particular reason. Unless you had a very particular reason, but I wasn't convinced by it. it That's where the change is. Yeah? So the change is later. It's kind of like those interlude moments. It's a moment of recovery. You know, in music, we have constantly all of these things that are going on. And then after we've just been through this huge emotional experience, we actually need time to recover. I'm learning slowly in my life. <laughs> I need time to recover. It's a hard lesson to learn, but I'm slowly doing it. But in music, it always explains it perfectly. You go through all of that. And then you get to this. Can you play? Okay, I'm ready now. I'm ready to go now. Anyway, it's the theme of the orchestra as well. Let me just catch my breath. You know, these geniuses who write, you know, Elgar, he knew how to make things work for everybody, you know, in that way. Thank you. 
Good. All right, carry on. moment the way he writes this with the fermata with the pause in the middle of things he says and it's is it not do we not remember something about that in the beginning a question and then yeah there's something about this question, and it's got to be, and it's different this time because we have to hold it. But we have to do something with it because if it's static, we're just saying, what? <laughs> so, what can we do? I mean, you can go, you can come that way, or you could play. You can go that way, or 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 you can do whatever you like. Whatever takes, in whatever it means most to you. Mm. He's not asking you, he's not telling you, but he's saying you have to hold tension, but it mustn't, must obviously not be dead tension. Try something. Whatever, it, it will work, I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, good, good. It did work. I totally think it worked. You can do it that way or you can do it another way. It's fine. Look, we've got a long way. It's maybe the question here of this note is whether, is how we switch back to come back to this. How we get to that. Because we've gone from the journey from here through the forest, up the hills, the mountains, everything. We've arrived at this point and he's saying, hang on a minute, we have to reflect on the whole story. And that moment of reflect, getting back, that transition is really quick actually, isn't it? that doesn't he he writes to hold again before you go off last thing that was really really nice beautiful but we have to be careful what he writes now how because he writes <laughs> now lager maybe he's asking you to slow down he's like he's asking you to hold back unexpectedly Now he's not asking you, he wants it to go. So. And he's, now he's asking you not to slow down. 
So it's like, I've said it before, I do not need to explain it again. In music, there should be impatience, I think. Sometimes when the music comes back again, it's nice that it's come back, but also time to say, yeah, I've said it before, come on. You don't want to have to say it all the same way. But that's how he's written it. Largamente, hold on and then go. Right through. Sorry, one second. This tragedy's still there. Yes. But you know what I mean, it doesn't have any slowing down. There's no slowing down. Go from... Just play for a moment. Sorry to interrupt, just for, look, good. That's, you know, more painful. Now, this is the last time I'm going to tell you this. No, my golden rule, never play the same thing twice the same way. Mm. But this is the last time is ever, you're ever going to hear this, folks. It's that serious. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.